Hello. Today we're going to be initializing our cart project. So in my previous video, I went through the context of what we're trying to do, the big picture. So if you want to review that, you should. So this is going to be the shortest video in the series. If you're wondering what in the heck all this is and saying something like, uh, well, where's this coming from? Well, then you should watch the previous video. So if we're going to be building a shopping cart, we're going to use sessions to build that cart. And what you want to do is call this function called session start. I always do it in all caps. There's an underscore there. Uh, K, uh, function names in PHP are not case sensitive, so it doesn't matter whether it's uppercase or lowercase. I just somehow have developed the habit of doing that. So that's step one. Every page which uses sessions needs session start at the top of that page. So you got to do that. That's step one. Step two is initializing the cart if the cart doesn't already exist. So carts are used, well, session variables more generally are used to create a stateful nature of pages, right? So ability to save some data and uh, carry that over from one page to another. And so that's what we're going to use. A, we're going to build, use it, build a cart using sessions. And so this is kind of weird looking. I'm sure there's other ways we could write this. But anyways, we're going to do a, a little conditional statement here. And uh, that conditional statement is going to be based on whether the cart already exists. So I'll say if cart, I don't know, right? That, so I put a comment at the end of my curly braces just to make things easier to look at. And so uh, let's check if that cart exists. Well, more, more accurately, I'm going to check if the cart doesn't exist. So if not is set, and then it is set as a function. So dollar sign underscore session, and uh, my cart is called cart. If you are wondering what in the heck this all this session business is about, well, I don't know that this is a great introduction to sessions. It might serve as an okay introduction to sessions, but uh, you kind of need to know what sessions are to see this. So I'm closing off all my parentheses. Yes, I used an excessive set of parentheses there, but I'd rather be clear than not. So this is just saying uh, if this thing exists, or sorry, this, may, this will evaluate to true if this exists. I'm saying if that's not true, right? So if the cart doesn't exist, then create the cart. And that's just going to be dollar sign underscore session, square brackets, cart, right? So if that thing wasn't set, then create it. Otherwise, nothing, right? So like it either already exists, and this doesn't happen, or it doesn't already exist, and then you create the cart. Not terribly interesting, um, but that's that's where this starts, right? So if there's a cart, we're going to be looking at it, so let's create it. Now, the other part I'm going to throw in here, just one more thing, and this is kind of a sort of overkill at this point, but I think it's a really good idea. I want to put in a statement uh, to echo out my cart, just so I can see if it's populating and behaving the way that I want it to, because you shouldn't assume that it will. So... I'll say we want to echo out. Um, so I, I sorry, I said echo, but uh, I want to do a print R because this is an array. So I want to print R on that cart. So that's dollar sign underscore session cart. Um, the only part of this that's negotiable is what I call the cart. Session is a super global, so you can't change that, but you could change that. I don't know what else you'd call it, but I, I'm going to call it cart. Now, the other thing about print R uh, and arrays and nested arrays, which is not far from where we're at right now, is you want to wrap these things in pre-tags. Pre-tags make it so line breaks actually show up. So these are just good old fashioned HTML tags. And so now once I start populating that cart, I'll start displaying it so we can see if we're building it correctly. And I'm wrapping it in pre-tags, which just makes it all that much easier to read. So let me run this thing and we'll see what it looks like. Spoiler alert, uh, it's not going to be very cool. So here's what I get. I get a trash up here. That is what happens when you are not running it through the local host. In other words, the PHP is showing up instead of being run. There's my shopping cart, right? It's this empty array right here. Not interesting, but it will become interesting once I can start buying some things. So in the next video, I will show you how to start adding things to our cart. And as you'll see, there's a... This there's some complexity to it. But it's also, once you understand how to add items to a cart, I think you're well on your way to building a cart. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.